Breaking Stimulus Checks You aren't going to believe this, but the IRS just officially confirmed that $2,000 stimulus checks are being sent out to millions of Americans starting in just a few weeks. That's right, if you're receiving Social Security, disability benefits through SSDI or SSIV a payments for military service, or you're an individual making under $75,000 a year, or a couple filing jointly under $150,000, you could be getting up to $2,000 in cold hard cash, deposited right into your account or mailed directly to your home. I know, I know at this point, you're probably like, yeah, right? I'll believe it when I see it after all these years of letdowns with Congress. But stick with me, because I've got all the juicy details straight from the horse's mouth over at the Internal Revenue Service. They just laid out the full payment schedule and eligibility guidelines, and I'm about to break down everything you need to know about when this money is coming, who qualifies, and how you're going to get it. So if these details check out, and you're one of the millions owed cash, you could have a $2,000 payday just days or weeks away. And I can't think of a better way to prepare for that financial lift than hitting the like button down below and subscribing for even more stimulus check updates. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and for the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors including SSS, DI, and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. With all the back and forth in Congress, it's been hard to keep track of what's actually going on, but I've got you covered. In this video, we're diving deep into the recent confirmation from the IRS about $2,000 stimulus payments hitting bank accounts for Social Security, SSIS, DI, and VIA recipients. This is huge news that millions of you have been waiting for, so let's get right into it. But before we get started, do me a real quick favor, smash that like button if you're excited about this stimulus update. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on money getting sent your way. I'm dropping videos every single day to keep you in the loop. All right, let's talk about these $2,000 stimulus checks. Over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of buzz building around the idea of sending out direct payments specifically targeted at seniors on fixed incomes and folks receiving disability benefits and veterans assistance. With inflation raging and everyday costs skyrocketing, legislators from both parties have been feeling the heat to do something to help out these vulnerable groups who are struggling more than ever just to make ends meet. Well, it seems all that political pressure has paid off, because just yesterday, the Internal Revenue Service released an official statement confirming disbursement details for a new $2,000 stimulus payment program. These one-time direct payments from the federal government are intended to act as an inflation relief check to help offset the crippling price increases we've all been dealing with at the gas pump, grocery store, and just about everywhere else lately. So when can you expect to see this money hit your bank account or get a paper check in the mail? Well, according to the official IRS payment schedule I have right here, the first wave of $2,000 stimulus checks will start going out next Friday, June 14. That initial batch covers current Social Security beneficiaries as well as those on SSI and SSDI disability. For those receiving VIA benefits, your $2,000 payments will start being issued the following week, with an official payment date of Friday, June 21 St. Now, for everyone else who qualifies based on the income thresholds of our $75,000 for individuals and $150,000 for joint filers, the IRS says they're going to use your most recent tax return on file to determine eligibility. They'll be cross-referencing that info against federal data from Social Security, VA, and other government agencies to make sure there's no duplicate or accidental overpayments made. So for that broader qualifying group, the expectation from the IRS is that your $2,000 stimulus money will start arriving a few weeks later with a target disbursement date of Friday, July 5 th Of course, the exact timing could shift by a few days in either direction depending on how quickly the IRS can process everything. But those are the key stimulus payment delivery dates they've laid out so far. Now, let's talk about some of the key details surrounding how you'll actually receive this $2,000 payment. If you were one of the millions who already got a stimulus check during the COVID crisis, 
You can expect your $2,000 to arrive the same way either direct deposited into your bank account or mailed to your home in the form of a paper check or debit card. For Social Security and Disability recipients, the IRS says the payment method will default to however you currently receive your monthly benefit payments. So if that's direct deposit, great, it'll just show up in your account. If you get a paper check normally, you'll get another physical stimulus check in the mail. Same deal, if you're on VIA benefits, the $2,000 payment delivery will mirror whatever's on file for how your regular monthly payments are made. For anyone else who qualifies based solely on the income limits, you'll receive it the same way you got your previous stimulus checks from 2020 and 2021, whether that was direct deposit or mailed payment. For those who are newly eligible and didn't get earlier stimulus money, the IRS says they'll do their best to default to sending out direct deposit payments for anyone who has a bank account on file for tax refunds or other purposes. But this time around, they'll also be launching a new online tool sometime in the next few weeks where you'll be able to log in and enter your own direct deposit details and mailing address just to be sure they have the right info to get that $2,000 stimulus payment out accurately. And of course, paper checks or preloaded debit cards will still go out to anyone they don't have reliable banking info for. Now let's talk about some of the burning questions I'm seeing a ton of you ask about in the comments. A lot of folks are wondering, is this $2,000 payment just gonna social security and disability recipients? Or does the VIA group and income qualifiers mean it's more broad? Well, based on the IRS statement, it is indeed intended to hit a wider group not just restricted to Social Security, SSDI, and SSI folks. Those recipients are just the FIRS T-Wave eligible for the accelerated payment time frame of mid-June. The IRS says the income cutoffs of $75,000 for individuals and $150,000 for joint filers will determine eligibility for everyone else who doesn't fall into those other groups. That includes people like seniors who receive other retirement income, like pension payments, middle-class workers, part-time workers, gig workers, and more. So this is shaping up to be a pretty broad stimulus payment that could reach over 100 million Americans from all different income levels and financial situations. Of course, it's limited to low and moderate incomes, but a huge group nonetheless. Let's address another common question, what if you're on social security or disability and have dependent kids or other family members? From everything the IRS has said so far, it seems these $2,000 inflation relief payments will just be flat rate amounts and NOT scale up based on household size or number of dependents like previous stimulus rounds did. So whether you're single or married with kids, the payment amount will max out at $2,000 per eligible recipient. Of course, Things could change before the payments go out, but that looks to be the plan right now according to the latest IRS guidelines. Another query I'm seeing nonstop is from folks asking, I'm on SSDI or get via benefits, but my spouse doesn't qualify based on the income levels. Will we still get the full payment? Unfortunately, based on the IRS info, it appears the answer is no. It will not be a $2,000 payment per household. Instead, it looks like the IRS is basing eligibility on each individual tax return or benefits recipient separately. So in a two-person household, if only one spouse qualifies based on being on SSDI or Social Security, that's the only $2,000 payment you'll receive. Again, not ideal, but that's the latest guidance from the taxman. Fingers crossed those rules get another look before it's too late, though. Well, the IRS says they are going to be relying heavily on federal data repositories from places like Social Security, the VIA state agencies, employers, and everywhere else they can pull together the most up-to-date contact and status info on folks. So even if you haven't filed taxes recently, they should still be able to find and verify you thanks to cross-checking all those other government sources. Of course, just to be safe, the IRS says they will be launching that new online tool in the coming weeks that will let you log in and manually confirm all your key details, things like mailing address, apartment number, bank account for direct deposit, etc. So that should help further avoid hiccups or miss payments for anyone they don't have solid contact details for. Also, if you've moved recently, 
just be sure to jump on that IRS tool and update your new home address. And anyone who didn't get their COVID stimulus checks due to filing issues or other complications, you'll be able to resolve all that on this online portal too. Last key thing to quickly mention the $2,000 amount being discussed is actually the maximum payment. According to the latest details from the IRS, the stimulus amounts will be phased out above certain income thresholds. For single filers, you'll start to see reduced payments once your annual income tops $75,000. The payments will then phase out entirely above $95,000 in income. And for married joint filers, that phase-out range starts at $150,000 in household income, with stimulus amounts reduced until they hit $170,000, at which point you'd no longer qualify for any payment at all. So while $2,000 is the maximum amount for those at the lowest end of the income scale, higher earners may see smaller checks or no payment depending on exactly where their income falls. Of course, I'll keep digging into all the nitty-gritty details and we'll break it all down in an upcoming video. For now, those are the key basics around income phase-outs based on what the IRS has revealed so far. So if you found this video helpful and want me to keep making in-depth content like this, show me some love by smashing that like button below. And of course, hit subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already to stay locked in on every new stimulus update as it happens. I'd also absolutely love to hear your thoughts, questions, or anything I might have missed regarding these $2,000 payments and who qualifies down in the comments section. I'm reading every single comment and always aiming to provide the best info to this incredible community. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll be back again soon with another video breaking down any new stimulus news.